that I feel something magic in the air tonight, and I'm not just talking about the gamma radiation. Whoops, better put on my newsman fedora here. Rumors continue to swell that Mr. House, the father of New Vegas, has passed away. Who will fill the power vacuum on the strip remains uncertain. Also, the King's Gang in Freeside has put an official end to the hostilities with the NCR. An RNV reporter was on hand to speak with the King. I feel so bad. I think it's time we reconsider, baby. That's all for now. This is Mr. New Vegas saying, I'm just no good without you. And now... And now for the video. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we went to Northside and pretty much cleared out the jobs that needed be to be done there. We also went into the sewers and got a unique Mojave weapon. After which we also, well not after which, actually before that we went to the Sunset Sasperl HQ and turned in all 50 of the Star Bottle Caps and got a nice little energy weapon as a reward, along with a, a modest number of caps. And the other thing was we went to the Thorn and in doing so, picked up this little beauty dinner bell, personal favorite shotgun in the entire game. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit off the beaten path. We are going to be doing a mission in this video. Kinda. We're going to be doing Arcade's uh, personal mission. Now, you might be wondering why I'm back in the Lucky 38. Well, I the way to activate Arcade's mission is to have him with you. However, it, I didn't want the chance of it randomly activating, and I'd lose out on the dialogue for it because, you know, I like to show things off as best I can. So, I thought, what better way to do it than to just have him with us, and we're going to be doing a little bit of traveling before we do go into uh, his personal quest. Arcade. What's up? It is time to go. There's something about that robot that doesn't seem all right to me. I'm not saying we shouldn't take it with us. I'm just saying that if it were to fall into Lake Mead and be irreparably damaged, and if you threw an EMP grenade in after it... Well, there are worse things happening in the world. Wow. Talk about no love for Eddie. Alright, let's get a move on. The other thing we're going to be doing in today's video, well, it has to do with the fact that I'm all geared up for war. No, we are not going to be taking the fight to the Legion yet. I need to talk to you about something. If you Well, haven't. I was kind of talking to the audience right now, but eh, sure. Any day now? Caesar's going to try to march across Hoover Dam and kick NCR well, out can of try. the lobby. We're getting caught up in something important out here. Hell, after how you handled Benny, you're practically right in the middle of all this. I know I'm just along for the ride, but it's made me think about the past and how I might be able to help out. Uh, what are you talking about? I wasn't always with the followers or with the NCR. My late father was an officer in a group called the Enclave, a remnant of America's pre-war government. Memories being short around here, not a whole lot of people remember them. But they did bad things. Terrorized communities, kidnapped people. Eventually someone stopped them. I was born a few years later at a military base on the coast, a place called Navarro. And uh, where did the Enclave go? A lot of different places. I only know what I was told. Some of them were cut down by the NCR and the Brotherhood. Some Got of cut them down released. again. My mother never told me what happened to my father. But she and I went south with some others and integrated into the NCR. When the NCR learned that Enclave personnel had integrated, they kept moving to the fringes. It's one of the reasons why I wound up out here. Uh, what happened at Navarro? After the Enclave's command structure fell apart, it was only a matter of time before Navarro was overrun by NCR forces. My mother and I left with some of the troopers from my father's old unit, the same people I've kept in contact with over the years. Anyone who didn't get out was killed by the NCR. Even some of the ones who escaped were eventually hunted down by the Brotherhood of Steel. And uh, where are you going with all this? The Enclave did a lot of bad things. But there were good people at Navarro. Good people with a lot of experience. Not many of them are alive anymore, but I think they can make a difference in the fight against Caesar. So you want them to help the NCR? That's a hard question to answer. I know I don't want the Legion to take Hoover Dam. So militarily, yes, I want them to help NCR. If possible, I'd like to figure out a way to help the NCR win Hoover Dam without holding New Vegas. Say no more, I'll do it. 
Great. I'd like you to talk to the old timers, the remnants. I don't think I can convince them by myself. To them, I'm still a kid. But you're a big part of what's happening out here. When you talk to them, they'll understand how important this all is. I've kept in contact with them over the years, so I know where you can find them. But I doubt they'll open up to you unless I come along. I know I'm not always the most serious guy around, but this means a lot to me. Your lightheartedness really brightens up the place, Arcade. Of course I do this for you. Also, you got a very veiny hand. You might want to have that looked at. But yes, Arcade's personal mission is finally done. It is for Alouet Lang's... Uh, that, that song you always hear every New Year's Eve. I personally like this mission. Actually, I personally love this mission. It's probably my favorite of all the companion missions. Not because of the reward. Okay, kind of the reward, but then again, it kind of deters. One thing I will make note. Sure. Make I'm sure Arcade has on, okay. nothing of value on him. If the way we're going to be going with this, and it can be determined, uh, sadly, we are going to lose him as a companion for the rest of the game. There are some times, I think it's like a glitch or something, I don't know, or maybe it was just like an update, he will go back to the Lucky 38 and spend the rest of the game in there so you can talk to him and also reverse pick, uh, not reverse pickpocket, just pick pocket the stuff out of him. <gasps> but the thing is, if you have anything of value on Arcade, take it off him now before you begin this mission, because if you go a certain way, you will lose him. So we gotta go to Jacobstown, we gotta go back to Westside, we've got to go... A little bit out of gun runners, so we gotta go near Vault 34 and we need to go all the way back to Novak. I think, well, since the cursor's already over there, we're gonna go to Novak. Now, as I was saying before Arcade interrupted me, I won't hold it against him because, you know, he wants to talk about the past and I will get more into it as the quest progresses. Uh, the other thing that we are going to do is go throughout the Mojave and hunt down the remaining three legendary creatures. Yes, I know there's also another a hidden fifth legendary creature in the game, but that's not in the in the vanilla game, so I don't have to worry about it right now. I'm going to dread having two in the future. Uh, so in doing so, I decided to arm the heck out of myself. I picked up the rem remnants uh power armor from arcade i picked up the heavy combat helmet just you know i wanted to have something sturdy and it was the best thing to have i actually look kind of badass with it if only the helmet was black it would fit much better into the motel room hello ma'am we have but a word for Those you fiend junkies over at vault Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Arcade has asked me to find you. I'm recruiting the remnants and they'll need your pil piloting skills. Wait, you're a pilot? Vertebird pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. Nice little callback to Fallout 2. Uh, Arcade asked me to find you. I'm recruiting the remnants and their need of your piloting skills. Told you everything about us, did he? Well, it's been a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertebird. There's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. What if I get one more chance to fly? Count me in. I'll be there. My part of the past phrase is deer. Oh dear. How did you like flying vertebrates for the Enclave? I was never happier than when I was in the cockpit. I was able to go just about anywhere and everywhere, limited only by the fuel I could carry. There and were more than a rotor. few missions where I took the scenic route home just so I could stay in the air. Caught hell for it every time, but worth it. Some of the things we did were questionable, I know. That's just how it was back then. Figure I've done enough good to make up for any sins, anyhow. Hmm. Watch your well, six out there. Oh, trust me, I've, I've got Eddie with me. My six is... Of course, the second I say that, Eddie is nowhere to be found. And now he's here. Wait, where'd Arcade go? Oh, whatever. Since my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, 
but lovers make poor confidants. Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. It's an important part of her life. Why shouldn't she enjoy it? As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something admittedly pretty bad, but it was something. If you spent the first half of your life flying Enclave troopers in a vertebrate, I suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare. Indeed. Now, the reason I love this mission so much is because it actually delves into the Enclave. In the past Fallout games, and in future Fallout games, I'm sure, if they ever decide to bring the Enclave back for whatever reason, uh, the Enclave has always been pictured as, like, cartoonishly evil. It, it's basically uh, American Nazis. As, like, pure race, best race, all that stuff. All mutants need to be wiped out and all that stuff. Yada, yada, yada. And the thing I like about it, this mission is that it doesn't paint all the members of the Enclave as, you know, heartless evil bastards. It, it shows that there were some good people even in such a terrible organization. And, you know, this can be their last shot at redemption for past, uh, uh, past troubles. Now, while we're talking about the Enclave, I might as well make mention of the Remnant's power armor. I don't know if I talked about this in the past. Uh, future me will probably throw it up if you can find it, but I doubt it. There's anything. Uh, the thing about the Remnant's power armor was you were going to be uh, hounded every time you put this armor on. It was basically the best comparison would be the auditory cake from Assassin's Creed 2, where if like you wear it, all enemies are immediately hostile to you. But it was cut at the last minute, probably because people, the devel developers thought that, yeah, you know what, we got this cool looking armor, it looks so badass, but if you wear it, everyone's gonna hate you. So they just decided to cut it. You know what, it's, it's good on them. I would have kind of liked it to see how it's original concept would have played, but eh, what can you do? Now our next contact is hidden somewhere in the hills. I don't remember exactly where the cave is. I can see it on the compass, and it says it's up here, but I cannot find it. I'm worried about what those three blips on the radar are, four blips on the radar are. I don't see anything. It could just possibly be coyotes, most likely. Uh, best bet is to go around, maybe we'll find the cave entrance on the other side. You know, maybe just go straight to where the compass is, it shows the location of it on the map. Idiot. And, uh, you know, I kind of can't believe that we're really this close to the end of our adventure. It has been a long time coming, and for the ups and downs this series has had, I'm really happy that I did it, and I'm really happy a lot of people have enjoyed this series in its entirety. Yes, it has gone for two years too long, but still. It's two years of innovation that I poured my heart, soul, and limited know-how of video effects into to, for the entertainment of people. Also, ow. Hello, you must be the, the second person we were told to meet. The ones that run Gamora. Someone killed them. And it was me, Dio. What took you? Oh. I've been in the no. Reaper's shadow for a long time now. And I thought he finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. Well, I have been known to be the Mojave's version of the Grim Reaper. You can tell the Legion that. You sound like you're There's a twitch in my trigger finger. I've lost my eagle eyes, and the other day I could have sworn I heard Sergeant Dornan chewing me out. I'm old, and I'm starting to feel it. It's not pleasant, especially when you know your mind's slipping away. And we all gotta go sometime. But I was hoping for something a little more heroic. Who's Sergeant Dornan? He was a drill instructor I knew. He was also the meanest bastard I've ever known. Once he caught this private out of uniform, and old Dornan went off on the most ear-blistering rant known to man. It was inspiring. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling the word moron was used a lot in that rant? He served, he served in the military? Uh, yeah. It was a long time ago. Things were better back then. Hmm. Tell me a bit about yourself. 
What do you want to know? Uh, so, are you a cannibal? Ah, I'm not saying. It's part of my mystique, after all. It sounds like there's an interesting story behind it. The truth of it is that I did cut out a raider's heart. But only took a bite to mess with his buddies. They had me surrounded, and I went with the first thing that came to mind. Some ran, and the rest were startled just long enough. Do you live all out here by yourself? Sure do. Had a wife for a while. Tribal girl. Really pretty eyes. But she's been gone a long time now. I don't have any more questions. But I do have a proposition. Arcade has asked me to gather the remaining members of the Enclave and the Mojave. Thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about then? He thinks your experience and technology will help resolve the conflict in the region. Well, now there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is old. Appropriate, huh? Ha! Ha! If I had to pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. Why worry about it? You don't have to be your father. Actually, you know what? I'm sure your father would have been proud of you. I wonder if he would. It's pointless, I know, but sometimes I wonder what he wanted me to be. Maybe being a doctor in the middle of Nevada wasn't exactly what he had in mind for a little boy. Eh, who knows? Life works in mysterious ways. There. Wow, we were in there for a long time. It's already day. All right, closest member is all the way near the sharecropper farms. I guess the closest would be the caravan, since I don't want to have to go through and find like the the gate back at the sharecropper farms. So the caravan is probably our best bet. I'm getting deja vu from last video, just going back to here, just to go to the little neighborhood that was set up out here. Should be pretty close. How close exactly? Yeah, okay, we're not pretty close. We still got a little bit of a hike ahead of us. Mail call! Hmm, very roomy in this house. I wouldn't mind living in here, you know, if maybe you got a broom and swept a little things up. Ugh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Do you have something against the NCR? Oh, like you wouldn't believe. The NCR makes a habit out of wrecking homes. I came out here to get away from them. Didn't work out so well. Next thing I know, I'm squatting in their land. Never mind that I've already been living here for years. You look like an actor that I know of, but I can't quite put my the name on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. What is it you do around here? Do? I don't do anything. I'm retired. So, what did you do before you retired? I was a soldier. Why do you even care? I came out here to forget about the past, so quit bringing it up. Alright, so enough about the past. Let's bring up the past! Arcade is looking for you. We're gathering the remnants. In a while, Arcade. So, what's the point of all this? Can't find any younger mercenaries? Your advanced level of tech would be useful in settling things between the NCR and Legion. Is that right? The million dollar question is, who exactly are we settling? Uh, do you have a preference? I wouldn't mind cutting down a few platoons of NCR troopers with my old Gatling laser. Are you coming to this thing or what? Oh, I'll come. But depending on the plan, I might not be staying. Keep that in mind. Arcade might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My part is remember. I forgot. What was it again? What did you do when you were with the Enclave? 
Heavy weapons trooper. Nothing better than hosing down a target with an excess of bullets and laser fire. By the time I got through with things, not much was left standing. Any morons who didn't run when they saw me coming got what they deserved. Back then, it was war. If we'd been on the winning side, I'd be called a hero. Hmm. <laughs> well, in this life, there are no heroes. Moreno took the fall of the Enclave hard. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was doing. To him, it was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left Navarro, I remember looking up at Moreno. He said, kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love in him burned itself out. Now there's just a bitter old man left. Eh, yeah, don't be too hard on him. It's part of who he is. I suppose you're right. When you're part of something for that long, maybe it's impossible to let go without losing part of yourself. Moreno may be a stubborn son of a bitch, but at least he's loyal. I mean, I haven't let go of the fact that the NCR has not recognized my valor and my hard work to keep this army afloat. But you don't see me gunning down platoons or troopers yet. Yet. All right, West Side. Fastest way would be the pawn shop because it's actually inside West Side, and the person we need to talk to is literally outside the pawn shop. And lo and behold, he is literally that tower outside the pawn shop. All lit up? You can see it for miles. I'll say, even though you can't see it from this angle. Sticking around for the attractions? Arcade asked me to help find you. I'm gathering the remnants. Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? You'll be the element of surprise. Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years, but all right, I'm in. None of this means a thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up, though. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. Tell me about the old day. Tell me about the old days with the Enclave. I miss those days sometimes. We all had a purpose, you know? I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. The rest of us, though, we were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and shortly after that, the base at Navarro. Nobody left except us remnants. And the East Coast Enclave, but that's another story. What happened to the Enclave oil rig and Navarro? Internal sabotage took down the oil rig did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the region. I'm surprised that the NCR was an managed to take you. I mean, have you looked at... Have you ever tried to fight the Enclave in Fallout 2? Those guys kick your ass. Even with power armor. I'd like to know more about your former squad. I was the officer in charge, and Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Johnson and Moreno never got along, and I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. Hmm. Uh -huh. Interesting, interesting. Well, three down, one to go. But before we do that, uh, I want to go to right around Judah here. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. And they're loyal to you too. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Eh, who knows? Maybe that day will come sooner than you think. 
Now, is this the right way to get out? Yes, it is. Uh, we're gonna head back into the wasteland, and we need to go close to where Northside is. Uh, the reason is because one of the uh, unique weapons is located over there. It was the one I was searching for, which I thought was like under like a girder or something. Turns out I was going the complete wrong direction, and it is over this way. So we need to look for a small shack. Am I even going the right direction? I'm facing... Am I facing up? Nope. Don't want to go to the quest. I want to go to stats. I need to go this way. Hopefully it's not that far of a hike. It shouldn't be. Uh, but knowing my luck, it probably will be. Oh, thank goodness this, I have this giant-ass fan on my back, or else I would probably be baking in this heat. It looks like... I don't know, we have a little... How far are we from it? I think this is it. Looks like it. Yep, this is it. Um, also, one thing to note, I forgot to mention back at the Lucky 38 when this video started, I went to Mick and Rouse after selling a lot of the weapons and merchandise that we had, and I picked up this little devil called, well, Little Devil. It, it It's a good gun. I tested it out a little bit in, in between videos, and, you know, it's, it's a very reliable little gun. Have you seen that tower but inside the here, we have these two fine us. fellows. What are you doing here, stranger? You looking to start some trouble? Really? You, you, you see a guy with heavy power armor and a heavy combat helmet, and you, you, you're starting to antagonize me? me. I'm Sammy of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal duo. You better not mess with us or you will end up face down in a shallow grave. Yeah, the shallow grave thing, tried it once, didn't work out for me. It sounds pretty tough. I wonder why I've See, never heard of you. Up until now, we committed our crimes stealthily, leaving no evidence behind, so we never built a rep. But that's going to change with our next score. You just wait and see. You'll have What's to your ask plan? Pauline about that. She's the brains of our operation. I'm the muscle. I see you yeah, hold the brain in, brains in this relationship. That's on the strip, the one you can see for miles. I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Yes, you can see it for miles, miles and miles and miles and miles. You can see it from the That's next state over. Funny business, stranger. One word from me, and Vance will plant you in the ground. Ma'am, you should be planted in the ground for that hat. That is way too comedically oversized for your head. I'm Pauline, of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal couple. You'd best not mess with Getting us, deja vu. or you'll have a bullet hole where your eye used to be. Yeah, I'd like to see you try and shoot through this faceplate. Or, I guess, eye plate. Whatever, you know what I mean. You sound pretty tough. Why haven't I heard I of you heard before? Of you either, so the not being impressed is mutual. Come a week or so, though, and everyone will have heard of Sammy and Pauline. Just you wait. You know, if you had a radio in here, you probably would be hearing about me a bit more. Sammy What's your plan? Sammy hands on a powerful weapon not too long ago. Vance's gun. You know Vance? Of Vance and Vicky? That gun's our shot at the big time. We're gonna sneak it in on the strip and rob one of the casinos. Maybe all of them. We'll be known as the greatest gunslingers to ever terrorize the wastelands. Sorry, honey. That position is already filled by moi. Your plan's gonna get you'll both see. of you killed. You'll feel stupid that you made fun of us when you learn how rich we are. Hmm. You know what? That's the greatest plan I've ever heard in my really? entire life. You think so? We've only got the one gun and there's two of us. And we've never done anything like this before. We've never been on the strip either. So we don't know how many guards the casinos have. And I kept having these nightmares. What are we thinking? We're gonna get ourselves killed. Look. You said it, not me. The gun, all right? Just take it. I don't want it around tempting us to do something stupid. See you. This better be good, stranger. Hand over the merchandise. Really? Oh, thank God. I love that woman, but I swear this time she was going to get us killed. The gun's in the safe. The combination's 5, 23, 34. Take it far away from here before she changes her mind. Yeah, bye. I wonder if that safe combination is a reference to something. 
I don't know. Future me will probably throw it up if he can find anything. Ooh, not only will I take your gun, I'll just take everything that's inside the safe. Why do you have two single shotguns? Why? Also, you said you only had one gun that you were going to share between the two of you, but you had two shotguns with you. Ugh, you two are failures at criminals. Oh, God. I don't know. Well, no time like the present to test out this new weapon. Hopefully, it's actually decent. In all seriousness, it is actually a pretty decent gun. It, it, it's a 9mm submachine gun. It, it's got the drum magazine. It, it, it doesn't have like the, the folding stock on the back, which the regular 9mm does. Are those Legion or is that just Cazadors and they're just messing with me? No, it's just Coyote. You know what? We can use a little target practice to show off the new gun and then maybe show off Little Devil. So why not clear out the Coyotes out here? I mean, I'm not going to use this gun in accessibility, so there's no reason for me to have to worry about keeping the ammo. After all, it's a 9mm gun, so it's not really the best gun in the game. But, you know, it has a high drum, so if you decide to, like, come over here for, like, sequence breaking purposes, it, it, it's a good early weapon if you have the speech to get the weapon. Let's get rid of the marker, and let's head back to Jacobstown. It's been way too long. I wonder if it's still nice and white up there. Ah, uh, snow. It's Christmas in July. Literally. Because that's when this recording's happening. Actually... In game, what what day is the twelfth? Ah, huh, it's December. So it makes sense with all the snow around here. Eh, if my luck holds up, we'll have this entire Mojave ours by Christmas. Actually, I'm an idiot. It's December twenty eighth. Christmas is already already passed. Uh, New Year's then. Oh, who am I kidding? We're not gonna have this done by New Year's. It's already been two years. As much as I love this game, one thing I like Fallout 4 over Fallout 3 a bit more... Oh, hello, Keen. Uh, the fact that on certain days on the calendar mess, uh, shows up, it actually plays the holiday in-game with like the main hub city in it. And that's a nice little touch that I like, even though I know that for the fact that like the Commonwealth is like more... Uh, is there something else I, can I guess you could you? say repopulated... And more, like, uh, tamed and, you know, rebuilt than, like, most other wasteland areas. Even though this place is pretty built as is. Uh, how oh, goes your research up for the Night King Cure? I not the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Uh, Ganon has asked me to gather all the former members of the Enclave so in the Mojave. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the past place to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Friends! Yeah. Something I have very Doc little of. Always was a hard one to uh, I just depressed myself. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Yeah, you seem like a nice guy from the last time I talked to him. Not everyone His work is what matters to him. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. Change the world. I'm going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. And me. Even though the, there was like those troopers at uh, Forlorn Hope and the Boomers and stuff. But I've killed more people than I've saved. They're, people are not going to be singing praises of me as soon as this whole kerfuffle is over. Now, thanks to my trek into the wilderness for the thorn, we already came by the Remnants Bunker. We can finally now actually go into the bunker since we have the passphrase. 
And, you know, it's a good thing I did the thorn before this, so that it saved me traveling time. Oh, God, uh, no, nope, I'm, get, I'm getting flashbacks. Uh, open the hatch to the bunker. Thank God I don't have to re-say the passphrase. Ooh, fancy. Oh, wait, I do have to say the passphrase. All right, dear old friends, remember Navarro. Hmm, not a bad place they got in here. Uh, oh, stairs. I wonder what else goodies they have down here. Oh, when they say goodies, they mean goodies. I would love to fly one of these things. Actually, this is probably the closest I'm ever going to get to one that's, you know, not crashed and destroyed. And we got the full enclave power armor, gun locker, all that stuff, armor locker. Yeah, reinforced Mark II, nice. Thank you. And you know what? We'll grab the we'll grab the reinforced uh, combat armor. Anything in the gun lockers over here? Nope. All right. Let's get a move on. Uh, nothing of value over there. So let's head into the meeting room. All right, gentlemen and lady, listen up because we got one shot at redemption here. Good riddance. And you're talking to the man who put him down. Glad to see you made it here. All right. So, who are we going up against? Now, uh, first things first, how are you going to deploy your squad? Marino, Johnson, Henry, and I will be the boots on the ground. Whitman will stay with the vertebrae. Uh, why Henry? Uh, he's not a combat field guy. He, he's, he, he's a scientist. Seriously, why are you putting a scientist on the front lines? I mean, you, I understand, you're an officer, so it makes sense to command the troops, and, you know, you got the two heavy guys coming in in power armor, but... Why Henry? Uh, what's this place? I want to get a little bit of backstory before we decide to go on the battle plan. This was a minor refueling station for vertebrates. It seemed an appropriate place to stash out equipment if we ever needed it. I'm surprised this place hasn't fallen apart. When I put it into standby mode... I expected to return to it within a few years, not decades. Yeah, for, you know, something that's a few decades old, doesn't look that bad. All right, we're going to help the NCR hold the dam. Then that's the plan. We're going to have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. Uh, you're the officer here. Can't you just order him to go along with the plan? I stopped being Moreno's officer a long time ago. Everyone here respects me, but they don't need to follow my orders. Not anymore. Uh, will Moreno be a liability? He won't turn on us, but he's a good shot, and I'd hate to do this without him. What's Moreno pro Moreno's problem with the NCR? Day one, we didn't. It's as simple as that. The rest of us moved on while Moreno didn't. Still, I'm not convinced Moreno hates the NCR as much as he thinks he does. You still might be able to talk him out of leaving. All right, I'll go talk to Moreno. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing him. And he's off. Have you seen that tower on the strip all day? Yes, everyone's seen the tower on the strip. You can see it for miles, miles and miles. States away. I am out of here. I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. What are you doing? Getting my gear. What does it look like? What, you think I'm going to leave this here for someone like you? Remnants come in, guns blazing, showing the NCR how it's done. You actually don't, don't want that? I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. Hmm. Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. You know, that power armor should probably be powered up first. Back together again. I'll be honest. When Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end. But at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. You, you certainly done your part. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro in my father's surf resort, 
but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out at the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. So here we have the moral choice. Do we either tell him that we take him with us into battle, having the free side won't make a difference. If the Legion takes a damn, the fight, you have to fight with them. We lose our, I think Arcade stays with us. This is the only time we can have Arcade stay with us, but we lose out on getting a really good piece of armor. Or we have Arcade stay behind and look after the people in free side because if you're sure it's going to be a bloodbath, maybe you should stay in Freeside. I honestly didn't expect you to say that. When I talked to you about Daisy and the others, you seemed to put a lot of value in loyalty to the past. What's changed since then? You were born at Navarro, you, but you are your own man. They have their fight, and you have yours. True enough, I suppose. Getting them back together must be worth more than me spraying plasma all over the dam. Back to free side it is. I need to make a stop before I settle in. I'll be back in a while. Thanks again for your help. It means a lot to me. No problem. You're a good friend. And it's farewell. We've lost Arcade's better healing perk. And Arcade went back to free side. Temporarily, though. Well, Eddie, it's just us again. Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. I'll talk to her, training even though I already have the training. Hours, so keep that in mind. Now, if we didn't go to the Brotherhood of Steel before doing this, or we just kill them outright before uh, getting the training from them. I can't believe I'm going to help the NPR. I can't believe you actually fell for my ruse. Uh, this was the only other way to get the power armor training in the game. I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. And since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. It'll take a while for you to show you how to wear the armor, even though you're already wearing the armor. I, I guess, I wonder why they didn't put like a, hey, I already got the power armor training. I mean, you know, some perks do have like a pop-up for them in dialogue. So I wonder why just like power armor training did, didn't pop up and you had like the dialogue option for it. Eh, whatever. We got some ammo, we got a microfusion cell, we got a stealth boy, we got an electron charge pack, we got a pulse mine, good for selling. Eddie, you can hold on to the excess wares, you can hold on this uh, combat armor, this combat helmet. You can hold on to this reinforced combat helmet as well, I don't need it now. And the remnant's power helmet. Wait, where's the second set of power armor? Where's my second? Where's the remnant's power armor I was promised? Huh. I only have the helmets. Unless. That's what I thought. Duplicated the armor because they're on the, sa they're, they're on the same uh, va uh, value. They're both at half. But whatever. We are. Discount Enclave. We are the Pimpin' Enclave. That's what we are. Uh, you can hold on to the spare power armor. Ooh, that one's actually in much better condition. You know what? I'll take that because this one actually is more functional. It makes sense that this was the preserved one and not the one that was found out in the field in the middle of a Deathclaw nest. Now, you might be wondering, TBG, where's the second helmet that went with the other power armor? Uh, you got you got a helmet and the armor. Was there only one helmet in the game? You you managed to get the remnants armor without having. Um. Uh. Oh, time and space is frozen around me. Uh, 
And we have returned. And I'm not the only like one who's said, returned. I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. I thought I might wear it at Hoover Dam, but after you talked me out of it, I didn't see the point in hanging on to it any longer. I'm here because of you, so I figured you're the one most deserving of it. It should protect you from everything short of a plasma caster. And if you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. I'm honored. It's the least I could do. All I ask is that you put it to good use. This place has lived in the shadow of Caesar for long enough. I may not be the one to help stop him here, but you are. Fortis fortuna adiuvat. Good luck. And goodbye. Fortune favor the freaky whatever. Goodbye, Arcade. It's been fun traveling with you. Hopefully we'll see more of you in the future, but who knows? Well, Eddie. Only, only the two of us left. Oh, screw that! We're not going to be fighting those legendary creatures with just the two of us. And so, I have brought reinforcements. Donning the Ganon family Tesla armor, which is basically the Tesla armor of this game, like the Tesla armor in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 is. Uh, it boosts energy weapons, as well as not as best benefits to the Remnant's power armor as it is. But as the little prompt showed you, I brought Cass along with me, the fiery redhead companion of mine. Why? Because I love her, that's why. And today, right now, on this night of sorrow, we descend into hell. We're going into Silver Peak Mine. Our first stop on the legendary creatures. Bad upkeep of the shacks. Ah, there was a star bottle cabin here. Would have been nice to know, game. Teddy bear, toy car, basketball, nothing really value. But what I do see as a value is inside here. Ooh, there's a missile in here. Do I have Annabelle with me? No, I do not think I have Annabelle with me. Um, ammunition box. Anything else? Uh, no, not the empty walker, you idiot. Metal armor. <laughs> and you know what? Good for repairs. Alright. Let's do this thing. I'm really not looking forward to doing this thing. Especially, apparently, the game can't... Isn't looking forward to doing it because it just crashed again. You know it's a bad omen when the game doesn't even want me to go through with this. It's basically saying, No, you fool! You don't have to do this for bragging rights! It's not worth your life! And then I'm like, yeah, I know, but people won't like me if I don't do this. You know, I, 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 I won't get the fame, I won't get the fortune, I won't get the YouTube money. People are gonna call me a pansy for not going through with this and chickening out. And then New Vegas is like, I feel sorry for you, man. I truly do. I pity you for what you're going to have to endure. And may God have mercy on your soul. So far, so good. You know what? Close quarters definitely calls with a shotgun. And for something like this, I do not take it. Any chances at all? Man, this thing has quite the zoom. I'm not a big stealth man, but man, do I not want to have whatever's in here sneak up on me. Cass, you watch her back. Eddie, you watch even further. God, if you can imagine like the next gen of. New Vegas, if it was truly a thing, how much more terrifying it would be in here? Eh, empty foot locker. So far, nothing's appeared on the radar. I'd like to keep it that way. Oh, how I would like to keep it that way. But, knowing me, it ain't gonna stay that way for much longer. I thought, oh, yep, 
Dad. They're in the room. The worst thing to fight in close quarters. Infesting Silver Peak Mine are Cazadors, and you can guess what legendary creature is inside here. That's right, the legendary Red Roach. Oh god, there are so many of them. Uh, do I really want to march headfirst into that room? It looks like there might be a second pathway up. Let's double back and just make sure that there are no other alternative routes. I honestly do not want to march into there because if I get swarmed, that's it for me. Even with this heavy power armor, I won't stand a chance against all of them. Do I even have any anti-venom on me? I got one thing of anti-venom. I need to make it count. If that thing stings me and its potent venom goes through my veins and punctures this armor, I am done for. And Eddie will need to continue my legacy. Yeah, so far it doesn't look like there's another alternate route. It's something I have dreaded. Wait, actually, this would be the perfect time for dead figures. Wait, didn't map out all the way in there. Maybe there is a alternate path in here. Maybe. Possibly. Doubtly. Unlikely. Wait, nope. Ah, figures, my luck. Alright, well, there's a group of them clumped together. You know what that calls for. Frag grenade should be able to handle all that small group over there, and then shotgun should be able to clean out the small ones. But I'm gonna be making some noise, and mom's gonna come running. Or flying, in this case. Enough denying the inevitable. Let's start this party. As soon as I get into position. Whew, that is terrifying to see. Two grenades should be enough to clear them out. There's one. Uh-oh. Save me, Eddie! Well, that went better than expected. Oh god! That's just a normal Kazari. Ain't the legendary one. Uh, the one behind it just looks like a normal Kazador as well. Yep, just a normal. Uh, don't really have a good thing. I might as well hit it in the wing. Damage the wing, render it useless. Wow. Screw damaging, just damaging the wing. I pretty much blew the thing clean off. Oh man, I got stung! Go away. Can't you see? I do not like your company. Right. Well, so far, just the kids and the babies have come after me. Mom's fluttering around here somewhere. I don't like the fact that I don't know where she is. If this was like next gen, it would probably be like a in-game cutscene where it's like she crawls out from like one of the crevices. And, like, dramatic music starts playing, you know, like, the cinematic letterbox uh, pops up. And it gets, like, all dramatic and stuff. That was a wasted shot. You know, maybe you should get a little close. Okay, never mind, it's dead, so it doesn't really matter. So, so far, so good. Three mag rounds left. Nine bean bags. I don't know what's dragon's breath. Yeah, I'll use normal slugs. Well, uh, I guess normal shells. I guess would be the correct term for it. Man, my eyes are playing tricks on me. I, for a second, I thought I saw it like scurry by up here. Oh shit. Oh, oh. That's just. Wow, it's ignoring me? Okay, no, it's not ignoring me. It sees me. Oh god, does it see me? I didn't think I did that much damage to it. I mean, there was like a still pretty good chunk of health left on it. Oof. Oh. 
God, I do not... Man, just seeing these things like scurry by and the fact that they kind of blend in pretty good with the Lord unnerves me to no end. around here somewhere. Something tells me she's up there. Eddie, you go. I'm too scared. Alright, that's just the Cazador. Which means the other one up there has to be Mother. Mother! Which head first into hell. And just the normal Cazador. Wait. Up here, where's where's the second one at? Where where did that second one go? Oh, wait, is that? No, that's just another normal castle. Where the hell is this legendary one at? Oh, there she is. There's mother. It's the foulest beast you'll ever see. That's, that's one nasty mother. You know what this calls for? No, cast you do not get to steal my kill. Cast stole the kill before I can bust out the holy hand grenade. Cast, I love you, but I deserve that kill. Off you go. Off you go. Well, all that build up for unsatisfactory resolution. That seems to be my videos in a nutshell. But we do get a good number of rewards for making it all the way through Silver Peak. Uh, we get incendiary weapons, we got bombs, grenades, mines, all that stuff. Just some generic stuff. Uh, more explosives. Um, but behind this gate, your true reward is some Hydra. Not really is down here, there is the Remnant's Power Helmet to go with the Power Armor for the Enclave uh, Promontory. Wait, was it up here and then it flew down there? Because if so, and I just marched past her without even knowing, that that's probably the most terrifying feeling in the world. Oh, whatever. Big Bad Mama's dead. Legendary my ass. Take my trophy. I'm never coming down here. I, I'm go, I need to wash myself with napalm. Ugh. Well, in all intents and purposes, that went all right. Not as bad as I expected, but not as good as I hoped. Hopefully the next two locations offer me a better resolution and hope equally better rewards. But knowing me, it's just gonna be the same way. Cass is gonna steal my kills. She, she's become the next Boone and Eddie. And I will die a little bit on the inside. I guess this is penance for me having to kill the legendary Night Stalker. Well, just m meat falling from the sky. All right. Off to our next destination. We are going to be heading down to, I guess, the Best location would be to go to Searchlight Airport. Yeah, the one place that I say has no relevance in this entire game actually has a little bit of relevance. Way to make myself turn out to be a liar. Oh god, it, it's weird without the green haze. Thank you, Cass. That was really called for. Alright, let's get out of here before we get scorpioned. Or scorpioned. Uh, ow, I deserve that. I'm not funny. Now, the location for our next target, it's a little bit to the south. Um, basically down, not by Cottonwood Cove exactly, but in the, like, little area right here is where the next location of the, uh, Mojave legendary creature abomination thingamabob challenge is. Nah, that's just a regular ghoul trooper. 
I'm on. Hold still. Hold still. There we go. That better not have been you, Cass. Yeah, screw it. I got the 25 XP. I'm calling bragging rights. Bragging rights, I tell you! I would also love for it to be the ghoul trooper I actually need to kill to get the... You all go together. All float on, okay? We all float on, okay? Alright, alright, already. We all float on. Okay. And now, judging by the wildlife that you're about to see, you should get an idea of what the next legendary creature will be, and I cannot believe I just rhymed again, god damn me! Ah! As you can tell, that our next legendary target is the fire gecko. It isn't actually that hard to t take care of it. I would say it's the easiest of all the legendary creatures to get, mainly because of, of its location. It's in a location where you can actually take it out pretty easy. There's a little sniper's perch inside there that you can go to. That sometimes it spawns in the area below and it can't attack you, so you pretty much got like free reign to open fire on it. Man, 21% hit chance, and I still nailed him. And the location should be over here, maybe. Nope, a little further. I just wanted to give you a hug. Uh. They look so disappointed when they die. Well, we've made it to Firebrook Cavern. Our next stop, and possibly the easiest stop. We actually do get a pretty good reward for going through the cavern, as well as more. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Right now, time to go hunt. Go, fire gecko, and another fire gecko. This is normal, normal. Yeah, it's nothing but normal. Alright, open season. Actually, I think our target. Nope, that's just the young one. That is definitely not our target. Good little gecko and die. If you're not here to sell me assurance, then you have no use in my world. Oh, there he is! Look at him run! Look how angry he is! Oh, he's a feisty one. He's also a dead one. Yeah, three shots from this rifle, and it's dead. He, arguably the easiest of all the legendary creatures to fight. Uh, he has no trophy for me to take. Uh, Eh, you know what? I'll take the level up. That's my trophy from him. Alright, guns went up to 100, so now there will be no more swing when I shoot guns! Energy weapons, that's a different story. Um, sneak is now up to 50 because I do want to dabble a little bit in the sneak. I'm probably going to start focusing on sneak and melee next because that's going to come very handy when we start the DLC stuff. Uh... Ah, uh, you know what, I'll put that one point into melee, just, you know, to, to get the ball rolling for it. Cass, are you, aren't you afraid that you're gonna, you know, shock the water and kill everyone with your electrodes? Alright, you know what, the fire gecko hide, even though I took it from him, I'm gonna count it as from him. Unless I can lug this thing back to the lucky 38. Actually... This will look nice above the mantle. Wait, that's not my target. Uh, I, I blew his head off. I want the head as a trophy. I was gonna hang it above my mantle. While well, sipping hot cocoa and petting Rex. Uh, there better be an equally as dumb reward. Oh, what's this? An evil gnome. Uh, he doesn't look that evil to me. He actually looks quite fashionable. You know what? I'll take him. He will look nice in the Lucky 38. Oh, God.
that? I don't need. I don't. I. Okay. Well, that was a golden surprise. Well, our reward for going through Fireroot Cavern, it's actually a pretty good reward for what you have to go through to get it. Over here on this little prospector, he has magnum rounds, he's got sunglasses, I'll take just to look cool, uh, ammo, cowboy repeater, but he also carries one of the very few Batman in this game, just kind of like the super mutant back in the Cazador nest. Very nice to have... Uh, nothing else. I guess I'll take the medics and the food, and that'll be it. I could have sworn that there was also a mini nuke up here to go along with the fat man, but I'm probably wrong. I'm sure someone in the comments is going to say, No, wait, it was over here. You just walked right past it, you idiot. And to that, I'll say, yeah, I am. I'll go back and get it next time. All right. Time for the big one, ladies and gentlemen. Our best bet is to go to the Hidden Supply Cave down by Nipton? Yeah, Nipton. I'm not gonna lie, I might be looking forward to this even less than I had to look forward to Silver Peak Mine. Also, I do not like that omen of what's down there. I swear to God, if it is what I think it is, I'm gonna be mad. Just to make sure, I'm going to bring around the heavy... You know what? Screw it. These guys have been dogging me for far too long. I know it's a waste of a fat man. I don't care. If it's what I think it is, and I know for a fact it is because they hounded me here before. Yes, I will be wasting the main nuke, but you know what? These guys deserve it. Where the hell are you? Oh. See, they got me all paranoid. I was thinking like coyotes were just the, another Legion hit squad. And I'm only saying that because a Legion hit squad hit me here back when I was working for the Brotherhood. Well, looks like they already got the coyotes that were aggroed. Look at me using that gamer term, aggroed and stuff. Oh, God damn it! it is them. All right. You know what this calls for? Fire in the hole. Maybe next time you'll learn not to attack me, especially when I'm carrying nukes. Eh, I'll let bygones be bygones. Ooh, I decimated them. See, maybe now Caesar will get the hint. He knows for a fact that I have a nuclear arsenal now. Maybe now he won't be so brash to send another squad after me. Oh, who am I getting? These guys are going to hound me to the day I die. Oh, anti-venom. I will definitely take that. Why am I radiated? Oh, yeah, the crater had radiation in it, and also the water inside the cave did as well. Nothing a little bit of right away won't take care of. Uh... All right, maybe one more thing to right away. There we go. Lots of Xander root around here as well. Bet you guys didn't see that coming. That's for sure. Well, the fat man, you don't need to be accurate. You just need to point in the right direction and pull the trigger. Also, aim a little high. As it does work as kind of a catapult. Better judgment is telling me don't go over to that location. It's probably going to be bad. But when have I ever gone with my better judgment? Uh, where is it on the map? Uh, to the right. Up in... I think I see the cave entrance from here. Something's smoking. like a camp of some sorts. Maybe raiders? Because I do know that this is like one of the early raider games territories and stuff. 
Eh, whatever. I'm not gonna deal with it. If it takes me too far out of the way, I know I'm just gonna get sidetracked. Uh, okay, I guess I was wound up was just a rock, not a not the cave entrance. Ah, little tiny scorpion. How adorable. Also surprising, given what's prowling around this area. Hmm, huh, I did not know that you could all, all come all the way up here. I figured that there would be an invisible wall by now. Huh, very good sniper position. Alrighty then, so where is this cave at? Uh, that's just a little scorpion down there. Right across! Now I just need to know the best route to get to it. First things first, I want to make sure nothing's sneaking up on me from behind. Now that train station looks empty. But looks can be deceiving. Especially with my perception. And I know I got like these big bug eye power armor things that kind of enhance my field of view. Emergency service rail yard. Oh, I saw something move. I must be jumping at shadows, or maybe it was just Eddie's antenna floating by. Oh boy, they don't make this easy for me. Alright, alright little guy. Sad to say, you're in my way. Damn it, there goes with the rhyming again. Looks like I need to... What would be the best location to scale this? I guess right here? It looks a lot less steep on the side of the hill. That's for sure. Up we go. Just bunny hop our way all the way up this hill. Nope, do not want to wait. Huh, it's getting close to New Year's. Maybe we'll, we won't finish this war by then. Ah, oh, well. Where is this thing? Still straight ahead. Uh, could they just, it, at least put like a stair system in, or maybe an escalator to get up to their location. Now I want to know why they call this Dead Wind Cavern, because you're going to be super winded by the time you get up to it. Wait. Alright, something tells me that that's just nothing but a bunch of... Wait... Charlie. I think I might have come in from the wrong entrance. I, this was all for naught. Alright, I see a little bit of a mound over there. Maybe, maybe we can make our way around it? Hopefully. Because I don't want the end of this video to just be me meandering around the Mojave trying to find this last location for our last hunting trophy. The things I do for bragging rights... Even though there's not really much to brag about with the fact that I'm kitted up like a space marine. Oh, we got something moving. Oh, it's up there. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Prim Pass. So he's in that five times fast. I doubt you can. Print pass, print pass, print pass, print pass, print pass, print pass. Oh, hello. What over here? A bright follower. We haven't seen you guys in ages. A laser RCW. Yeah, why not? I'll have a laser Tommy gun with me. Oh! I, I think I stumbled into the wrong neighborhood. Well, it's my neighborhood now. 
Well, at least we're on the right track. That is a lot of red. I do not like the fact that that is a lot of red. You know what? Screw this. We're going to explosive ammo. I do not remember this part of the Mojave. It can tell with the age of my knowledge of this game that I do not recognize a place that actually has a little bit of significant value. What is this place? Harper's Shack. Hmm. Eh, sure, why not? We'll pay it a visit. A little distraction before we march headfirst into getting eaten. Bottle cap, bottle cap. Ammo! Always a nice commodity. And a stealth boy, nice. Nothing. Uh, toy chest. Lots of ammo in here, that's for damn sure. A nice little welcome, a nice little calm before the storm starts. Uh, doesn't look like we got anything else of value in here, so let's head out. We are so close to our goal, I can almost taste it. Well, looks like I found the cave. Along with death. Lots and lots of death. Death has claws. Death claws. I'm nervous of what's over there. I'm probably expecting more death claws, but n knowing me, I'm just being scared by a couple of scorpions. Oh, nope, wait, I recognize that area. That's full of death claws. I want nothing to do with it. Well, we've arrived at Deadwind Cavern. Definitely lives up to its name, because holy hell, all this climbing has left me very winded. Let's head in. Let's just hope we can head out. Like that, you have already anchored the hornet's nest. Uh, hi. Uh, we'll get out of your house just after there's a one lamb! He didn't like that. He didn't like that. He really didn't like that. Wow, three swipes and my health is already half gone. Okay, we get it. He's dead. Haha, <laughs> he's already dead. Oh. If I remember right, I think there are a matriarchs in here as well. I'm just terrified that I'm gonna. No, oh, no, that's just another regular death cloud. Yeah. Oh, wait. Something's moving back there. It doesn't look like a normal death claw. Look at no wait, that is a normal death claw. I saw something else move. Yep, just death claw, death claws. You get a death claw! You get a death claw! Everybody gets the death claw! Opa! Even though I'm not Jewish. Death. You know what? This calls for a little otherworldly expertise. I haven't actually had a chance to show this off. What better time? Oh, is that just another death claw? Yeah, that's just a death claw. That's just a death claw. I don't know who got that kill. 
Mario, but I'm calling it. Just as a souvenir. Who knows? Maybe I'll breed my own death claw. I'll name him Henry. We'll go on adventures together. Oh. We will be best friends. Prefer to be animized! Oh no. Oh no. That 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 does not look like a normal claw. Oh no. Yep, that's what I didn't want to run into. Run away! One swipe and my health is already half gone. You know what? This calls for the super stim pack. Alright. Alright, time to bust out the holy hang, hand grenade. Alright. Just as the instructions. Oh god, he knocked out both Cath and Eddie with one swing. Half gone. All right. Don't want to. All right. Good enough. The blast radiation. No. Nope. Is that what I signed up for? I ain't wasting the, hand, the holy hand grenade on you. Wow. One kill to the neck. He's dead. One kill to the neck and he's dead. Yeah. That. That. I. I is word well. I'm good under pressure, as you can. As you can truly tell, I have the calmest head. Oh! All right. One, two, five, three. 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 Shot. Oh, God! Man, take how half your health at once. Oh, God, will you leave me alone? All right, you know what? Do I have any turbo? Please tell me I have turbo. I don't have turbo. All right, whiskey to up the damage threshold. Um, I need. I, I, I need the tank as much of this as I can. 
Alright, he only takes out. Oh, God! Damn it, Eddie! You know what? Holy hand grenade! You two get it! You stole my kill once again! Deny me the glow. Oh, God. You two stole my kill yet again, denying me the glory. Uh, I wanted to be the one to kill him. <laughs> I wanted to kill the abomination! I blame you because he's an ash pile. Yeah, don't hover there and look at me like that. I know it was you. I know Cass didn't do it because she doesn't have a rifle that atomizes enemies. At least, not that I know of. Maybe those gyros around her body actually do make them atomize. Whatever. I'm taking this hand as proof that I did it. I did it and no one else. But for our troubles in going through Deadwind Cavern, our reward for doing it is this Brotherhood of Steel Paladin. We get laughably T-45 power armor. And I think it's, this would be like the only copy unless you can buy it from the Brotherhood uh, Quartermaster, which you all know how that went out for me. Uh, it's the only location in the game where you can get uh, Brotherhood T-45 power armor. I think, the, I think their bunker, not their bunker, their safe house has one. I don't remember. We get 40 millimeter grenades, and the grand prize, mercy. The thing is, when you have this thing, there is none in this game. I don't know, I don't know why I paused for emphasis. But mercy is a grenade machine gun. It's as ridiculous as the name sounds, and it is freaking awesome. Why? Because it, it is a grenade Machine gun! Need I say more? But if there's any Deathclaw stragglers, definitely gonna test this thing out on it. The only problem I have with it is its ammo. It, it, it's very sparse ammo. It, it's the same ammo, I believe it's the same ammo that Thump Thump uses. Uh, the 40 millimeter grenades? I, I, or was it a different um, grenade? I don't remember. But either way, its ammo is pretty scarce, and it's also pretty expensive. It, I, it, arguably up there with buying a Batman round, which I don't think you can... No, wait, Gunrunner does let you buy a few of those. Where the hell is the exit? Uh, I guess the other would be the anti-material rifle round. This map is broken. Um, I think I went the wrong way. Oh, no, wait. Nope. Uh, I'm get okay, there we go. Back to the wasteland. And we've arrived back at our lovely little suite. It ends where it began. On the shelf of magnitude, we will place our spoils. What were the spoils again? Alright. First things first. We have the miscellaneous, the Cazador poison gland, a death claw egg, a death claw hand, a fire gecko hide, and where is? Wait, where is it? I could distinctly remember that I picked up a night stalker tail. Huh. Alright then. The Night Stalker lives to tell its tale. Literally. Man, look at the size of this poison gland. Holy hell, this thing is huge. Even too big for the, for the shelf of magnitude. Alright, fine. You go on the lower shelf. 
Fire Gecko Hide. Shall adorn. Shall adorn. Alright, fine. Shall adorn the third shell. The Death Claw Egg. Shall fall. Shall adorn the second shell. Where's that hand? Nice hand. The Death Claw Hand. Shall just. Boom, will you get out of the way? Your time is coming. The Deathclaw Hand shall glitcheth the fuck through the toppeth shelf. Four shelves, four trophies. But one still remains. The evil gnome. He doesn't seem so evil. Maybe he can be reformed. You know what? He shall be the new door guard since Victor has abandoned us. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Good enough. He shall watch over the door. Vigilantly. Oh, hey, Arcade. I see you made it back. What's up? So yeah, we can, we, we can still talk to Arcade about stuff. Uh, something's missing. Nope, not the grenade minigun. Machine gun, whatever. Ah, doesn't work. Come on, I need something to work with this guy. There we go. He may not wear his combat helmet proudly, his bald spots as shiny, but our little... He doesn't look like an evil gnome. He looks like a misunderstood gnome. I shall name him Hugo. He shall watch this door vigilantly, and make sure no troublemakers come and bother my little clubhouse. And now that that stupid random shit is over, it's time to end the video off. So, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we are... You know what? I think it's time. Time we pay Caesar back for all the transgressions that he has sent against us. The numerous number of Legion raiding parties and assassins sent after me. The headaches. The wasted ammo. And the many, many groans of frustration. Next time, we're going to pay the fort a visit. Afterwards, if we have time, we're going to be going back to Camp for One Hope to do one more thing for the NCR there before we head back to Hoover Dam to report on our, our work for them this far. It's been a long time coming. Caesar, I hope you're ready for a mighty retribution. So until then... I will see you guys next time. Later.